I wanted to share this quick little tip with you because it's been on my mind. Don't really have this one planned out. I only thought about it recently. And it's about selling your products. And this video kind of sounds a bit odd because there's so many businesses, entrepreneurs. We all know those businesses that put up product after product on their pages and that's all they do. Like that's all they know how to do. And I don't think we can blame them. I don't know if they were taught any different and I almost think that many of the companies that they work for almost teach them that to set put up product after product, sale after sale. So I'm going to look at the other side of the coin and say that there's a lot of people out there that aren't selling. Like they have products, they have businesses, services, and they don't sell them. So I'm like, for me, you have to find your happy medium, of course. And it's pretty challenging. I know it's a challenging world. Like we have to find our, our happy medium. There's social media that has never been as apparent as it is in this day and age. And we're not sure what to do. Like, how do I sell my product? Do I, am I overselling it? Am I underselling it? So this video is for those that are underselling their products. And I think there's a, a large number. I think there's just as many people underselling as there are overselling. You just don't see the, you don't see the underselling people because they're not in your face. They're like, here's a product, here's a sale. They are, they're quiet and they're not doing anything. And I think that that's a challenge. So my message today is that you have to sell your product. And I know it's challenging to people that are like, or people that are timid, people that aren't so outgoing, maybe an introvert. When I started out, I mean, I'm an introvert personally. And when I started out, I had no idea how to sell my products. I didn't want to be in people's faces. I didn't want to annoy anyone. But I mean, like we have to understand that if you look at a Facebook page, for example, like I think it's around 5%, probably less now, maybe 3% of your fans and followers will see your posts. 3%. It's ridiculous. So if you put up a post, there's a good chance most people aren't going to see it. And I know that's not a positive, but it is in this case because we feel like if we put up a post on Facebook that all, all our fans are going to see it. Then we put up the same post on our personal page and then like, oh, I'm probably annoying them because now they've seen it twice. And then, of course, we put it up on Instagram for example, they're like, oh, they've seen it three times. They're going to they're, they're gonna unfollow me or unfriend me because they've seen my same post three times. No they're, no, they're not, and no, they don't. Because they've probably not seen your post, there's a good chance they haven't stopped on it if they have. So you're not annoying your fans and followers because they probably haven't seen your stuff. Um, and, I mean, I should say, I mean, the, the disclaimer here is that you shouldn't be sharing the same post at the same time. So don't automate it so you put a Facebook post up and, and it automatically goes on Instagram. That's kind of annoying when you put up the exact same post on the exact same platform at the exact same time. So it's like, why is someone following you on both pages? Because, you, I mean, you have to give your audience a reason to go to different pages and follow you. So... Um, that was that's the, the disclaimer when it comes to putting your putting up same posts on different pages or different platforms I should say but you have to sell you have to have the confidence you have to believe in yourself you have to I mean we put in tons of time and effort I don't mean just we as true form I mean we as business owners entrepreneurs those that develop products we put in tons of time and effort into our products and services and then we don't sell them like it's bizarre to me and don't get me wrong I've been there before I started out like this and it was very clear to me early on in my career it was starting a business you could have the best product in the world but if no one knows about it you what's the point of having it if it can't help anyone if no one's gonna buy it or use it what's the point of having it why did you put in all that time and effort to develop it so so I taught myself how to market I love to market now it's been years now I love to market I enjoy it I enjoy the challenges of it the struggle the ups and downs that's something that I embrace and I encourage you to embrace at least some of that as well. But you have to sell. Like you have to tell people what you're doing. For us it was tough because I never wanted to be like, I always want to offer information. That was my goal. Like I would write for free if I didn't have to pay bills. I love to write. But if I, if I don't monetize that in some way, if I don't write a book, and if I don't put all my words in a book and sell it, if no one buys it, I can't write. Because it's just a waste of time if I'm not able to pay my bills <laughs> right and you guys are in the same place if you're not able to pay your bills doing what you love then you're not able to do what you love so you have to become a better seller you have to find ways to market you have to research you have to look up I mean Google's like it's a crazy Google world out there you could learn how to put up you could type in how like ideas for an engaging Facebook post and then you could guess and test with your audience but 
for us, we never wanted to annoy people or bother people. But he, the thing is, like, if we are creating products and services that are going to help you, are going to help our audience in some way, why aren't we selling it? Why aren't we telling them what we have? We used to do different types of groups. We're, like, we're doing a seven-day reboot challenge right now. And at the end of the group, we say, hey, guys, if you'd like to join us, this is a free group. If you'd like to join us in our monthly membership group, which is a paid group, you can join us. This is what we offer. But if we, in the past, we didn't tell anyone that. So how do they know? How can they know that there's more? How can we help them more at a deeper level? How can we raise the bar of what we, of what we offer? But if we don't tell our audience what we have for them, if we don't make great products and services that will actually make a difference in their lives, then what are we doing? And if it's a secret, then no one's gonna know about it, no one's gonna purchase it. We know how challenging it is to create products and services and sell them when we're trying to sell them. Consider those of you that aren't trying to sell. Consider those of you that aren't really telling anyone or that you don't have the confidence or maybe no one knows. Like, do you never put up a social media post on your artwork? And I mean artwork like everyone creates art. Like whatever your product or service is, that's a form of art. So are you never telling anyone that what you have for sale? Do you ever, um, if someone buys something, do you say, oh, did you know I had this as well to buy because they go hand in hand? Like they're going to help you for whatever product or service you have. We don't, and that's called an upsell, but it doesn't have to be annoying, and it doesn't have to be intrusive, and it doesn't have to be in their face constantly. You tell them, like tell them. We do that all the time, like, oh, did you know we have this? Yeah, I knew, or no, I didn't know, I'm not interested. Okay, great. Maybe they're not ready for it, maybe they're not interested in it, maybe they'll come back to it, but at least they know. So for me, it's like, if you don't ever put up a social media post, if you don't tell your friends and family what you're doing, that you have a product to sell, then I mean, what are we doing? Like, we shouldn't be. Then we shouldn't be trying to sell. We shouldn't be creating products if you're not going to tell anyone about it, because then no one's going to know about it. And then what's the point of having it? Uh, more details. I have a book called Random Thoughts, Volume One, for business owners and entrepreneurs. If you're interested in that, hit me up. I can hook you up. I also do some one-on-one -on -one business coaching. Catch you on the next video.